Hi guys, Wayne's Butler here. I figured uh, since I only got one video on this channel, it's probably time to put another one up. Now I have been asked to do videos on my trikes and I've been kind of hesitant because I'm not real good at doing videos, at least these type. And But since we all been laid up here for the last, well, month, going on a month now for me, I've done, I uh, figured I'd do a video. And I've done a lot of mods on both my trikes. I got the 700 here and I got a pocket. We'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I've had both these trikes. Well, I had this one for probably a couple years. Doing more mods to it than pedaling it. But uh, anyways, like I want to try and do this whole blackout theme. I like that real stealth look, which is why I picked the black one. But I wanted to take it a couple steps further. So I'll try to go through this as best I can. We'll start at the front and do all the mods. I'll show you what I've done. Anyways, uh, we'll start with the chain ring. Now, we still got the 52 chain ring here. Now, the 52 chain ring that was on it was all well and good. I could have taken the, the chain guard off, which is actually on there for safety. This thing here right now is like a spinning buzzsaw if you ever hit somebody in the leg, but it is what it is. I decided to remove it, and I replaced it with another 52 uh, chain ring only because uh, the chain ring that's on it, when you take the chain guard off it, it doesn't have the, the pin that stops the chain from getting jammed in between the crank arm and the chain ring. So for safety, that's the main reason why I changed this. Plus it looks a little cooler than the one that's on. Front derailleur didn't really make any changes. Uh, we get down to the levers here. I got rid of the foam levers and went with the wrap here, uh, lizard skin. And uh, I actually like the wrap better. I'm, I've always been a road cyclist, so I'm trying to bring the whole road cyclist vibe into the recumbent world. And I've always liked the feel, and I really like uh, the lizard skin. So I, wrap, I got rid of the foam, got, wrapped these with, uh, with the lizard skin, like I had said. And I haven't done the, the pocket yet, but I plan on doing that. The mirrors, uh, they're folded in right now, but just a standard... Uh, Hoffler, Hoffler got from Amazon, bar in. And we get down to here, need a bit of conversation. Now what I've replaced here, I replaced the idler sprocket with the, the titanium one from T-Cycle. Actually T-Cycle is probably one of the best recumbent sites, sites on the internet. Uh, fantastic customer service. They, they can't do enough for you and I can't say enough good things about them. But there's multiple options here. So I, like I said, I went with the, the titanium idler and but I still got the tubes now there's multiple options here you can go with floating tubes you can go with the uh, external uh, idler pulleys again from T-Cycle that get, get rid of at least the bottom tube and they're all good options uh, I'll be honest I can't bring myself to clamp on a big clamp around this powder coated finish to put that idler sprocket on it but the main reason why I'm not going that route is because it lowers the chain too far I don't the chains low enough as it is so I wanted to keep the chain tucked up underneath the trike as much as I could, which is why I kept the tubes. So I try and make a, the best out of a, not a bad situation. I mean, the tubes work quite well. They're on most recumbents, but shorten them. Uh, the, the tubes on the, the, uh, the, the cat trike, obviously they come, you don't get dirt in your legs and you know, there's other parameters that they put them on there, but they're way too long. So I basically cut them in half. The bottom one's about a foot long and it's just long enough so the chain so it guides the chain but it does not bang on the frame and the same as the top tube i cut it right down you can't really see it but i cut it right down as short as it possibly it could be where it doesn't hit the frame but it's as short as it possibly could be and as we zoom back down we'll zoom in here on the chain now this is the other expensive mod I made. Now if you want to replace the chain on your recumbent trike and you want to buy chains, basically you need to buy three of them. So I bought these three ultralight chains uh, from KMC. I actually would hide, even, it's, even though it's expensive, I think this cost me probably about close to $300 to buy these chains. But on a recumbent trike, because you have so much chain, you got all that weight and that does affect shifting. I mean, they all work. I mean, uh, you know, we've been using KMC, KMC chains on recumbents for years, and they work quite well. But when you go with an ultralight chain, you have a much, you're dealing with all lesser weight, and which improves your shifting, improves the weight factor, and as you can see here, hardly any ch chain sag at all. Uh, 
despite even having the, the, the shorter tubes. So that's why I went with the chain. And I want to talk about the bags here a little bit. The Arkel bags. Oh, come on. Uh, I've done some mods on these. Now the Arkel bags, if you use all the straps that come with it, they just don't fit right. The, the two bottom straps, they don't really need to be there and they're in the wrong spot anyways. Actually, the V1 version of the Arkel bags actually fit the 700 a little better because they're a little bigger. But what I've done here is I, I basically cut the bottom straps off, cut all the threads, pull the straps off. You don't really need to do that, but I decided to. And it, all it does is leave a couple little thread holes that you don't really see. And what I've done is I've installed a magnet. Right there, right where that Canadian flag is. Inside the bag there's an N45 magnet that you reach in there with your fingers and I got another N45 magnet that coincidentally goes up behind the strap. The, the strap and the bag just happen to meet right at the right spot. You put those two magnets together, when those two things snap together, that bag is not going anywhere. And the N45s, are, they're pretty strong, so the strength of your magnet is all relative to how much weight you're going to put in there but uh, the magnets work a treat and it just and the, the bags look better and they fit better which is you know the whole purpose of all of it isn't it and the last mod I made I recabled everything with a uh, with a Jaguar cable which again, not really necessary, but I wanted to shorten all the cables. Again, the, the shifting cables. And what I did, just uh, since I brought that topic up, the shift cable, what I did is when I run the shift cable, I actually ran it right up. I used the, the bag straps. I used the bag straps to actually hold the cable and you get a much straighter route instead of looping it underneath the seat that you can feel and you know the way it comes from the factory. Uh, I just went with the, uh, the larger outer cassette or the black outer cassette again I'm, I'm going this whole blackout theme so that's more or less why I changed that but on the off on a side note I haven't had this thing out on the road yet with this new cassette and I actually changed it to cassette too on the pocket that I'm going to show you here in a minute in my experience the Sunrace cassette shifts way smoother than the SRAM that comes with it I don't know why but it just does it just shifts smoother and I'm actually glad I, I uh, switched them out just for that reason alone, if not the fact that it's black. And we'll go to the pocket, which is a little bit poor lighting, but not as, not as many mods to it. Uh, again, the front end's the same. Uh, I got pedal extenders on both my trikes. And uh, for me, it's a must have. And uh, again, all I've done here is I shorten the tubes. Again, for the same reason I just discussed. Again, I changed the rear cassette because it's a sunroof. Because when I found out how smooth the 700 shift, I'm says I'm shift. I'm replacing this SRAM with a uh, sunrace cassette. And again, even with the KMC chain, with this, I still have the standard KMC chain that's on here. Again, with that extra weight that I, I just talked about. This thing shifts a treat. I, I don't know why. It just it's Sunrace cassettes, in my opinion, or in my experience, again, I haven't had neither one of these trikes out on the road yet with these new cassettes. But in house, they shift way smoother. And I've recabled this with uh, all Jaguar cable and uh, shortened everything. Again, the shift cables on these things are way longer than they need to be. And I th I'm going to be changing out the foam grips like I said I'm going to be taping them and I think that's oh just one little quick little thing here I got the that's what uh, the video that my first video on this channel that's what I filmed it with the GoPro and just real quick since we're over here I got this K edge it's K edge double for chain uh, derailment it actually fits quite well even though it's a triple chain ring, it's uh, the double fits perfect. It, it's maxed right out. It's, it's adjustments maxed right out, but uh, fits perfect. And I guess we'll end it here. I did the best I could, guys. Second video.
Be kind. Wayne's Butler, signing off. Peace and love to all.